again everyone, my name is Bertina from the channel Book Looks by B, and I am a self-taught makeup artist and an avid book lover blending the two things I love the most, which are books and makeup. I'm back on Epic Reads to share my book look for Five Dark Fates, the final book in the Three Dark Crowns series which releases in paperback on April 6, 2021. Three Dark Crowns is one of my absolute favorite book series yet, and if you follow me on Instagram, you'll see my past book looks for Queen Catherine, Queen Arsinoe, and Queen Mirabella, and I am ecstatic to make one last look for the series finale. So if you're interested in seeing how I put this goddess first Queen of Fenburn inspired book look all together and maybe even recreating it, then please keep on watching. Starting with a clean bare face, I'm outlining my clean crowned forehead tattoo with a white eyeliner pencil. Also, slight spoiler alert! If you read the books, you'll know which queen crowned I'm referring to, but instead of making my crown just like hers, I'm going to try and make it my own while also incorporating all five magical gifts from the story and the book cover into the whole overall look. Once I have the rough design down, I'm going over everything with black alcohol activated paint. Since the cover features all five gifts of Fenburn, I want to reference the five gifts starting with the oracle gift by incorporating the oracle eye from the book cover in the center of the crown, along with three small stars to represent the triplets. To make my tattoo look a little bit more like a circlet crown, I'm adding a point at the top and with a little bit of IPA on a q-tip, I'm smudging the lines to add some shading and I'm also using the q-tip to clean up the outer edges. Once that crown is fake tattooed onto my forehead, I'm using my favorite primers all over my face, pulling some of it down onto my neck, and I'm also going to prime my eyes. I want to look like a well-rested queen, so I'm going in under my eyes with a color correcting concealer to brighten up my under eye area and blending that all out with my fingers. Next, I'm using my everyday foundation, dotting it all over my face and my neck and blending it out with a foundation brush. I'm also putting a little foundation on my tattoo crown to make it look a little bit more realistic and like it's sitting under my skin rather than on top of it. By putting foundation over the black alcohol activated paint, it also gives the design a bluish inked in tone similar to a real tattoo. After that, I'm just touching up any spots on the tattoo crown that got blocked by the foundation with some dark blue body paint and blending it in with a beauty blender. I'm also going over any blemishes and under my eyes with a concealer closer to my skin tone and I'm blending that in with a beauty blender before setting everything with translucent setting powder. Time to move on to the eye look and for this I wanted to pay homage to my previous book looks for the Three Dark Crown series by doing an enhanced version of the eye look for Queen Arsinoe, right here. For this eye look, I'm first starting with a bright matte magenta shade as my transition color and placing that a little higher than my natural crease before blending in a dark purple duochrome shimmer shadow into the outer corner of my crease and blending that all together. Next, I'm packing a matte black eyeshadow all over the center of my lid before blending it in with a little bit of that same purple duochrome shimmer shadow. I'm topping off the center of my lid with an iridescent green shimmer shadow with my fingertips before blending more of that matte black eyeshadow along the outer crease. With a gold liquid glitter shadow, I'm focusing this on the very center ball of my eyelid and blending it in with my fingertips. <sighs> Add a book to your TBR for every time I say the word blending in this video. Swiping away any eyeshadow follow, I'm smudging a little bit of the purple duochrome onto my bottom lash line and I'm topping off the center portion with the same iridescent green shimmer shadow. Next, I'm adding some warmth to my face with some bronze around my cheeks, around my chin and jaw and around my forehead. With a darker green shimmer shadow, I'm placing that color onto my temples and along my hairline before blending in a cool tone lavender dual chrome eyeshadow onto my cheekbones. I'm also hitting the apples of my cheeks and the tip of my nose with a teensy bit of blush to add a bit of pink to the look. And with a darker rosy blush color, I'm contouring my cheeks, blending in more dark purple and some black cream paint to really intensify and darken up the contour. I'm also going to carve out my jawline with some brown cream paint before blending it all down my chin and neck. Moving on to my brows, I'm trying to be a bold boss queen, and by the goddess of Fenburn, my brows will be too! Since I already have dark, thick brows, I'm just filling them in and dragging the tail end of them out a little longer than normal just to give it some extra drama and pizzazz. So the eye look we created doesn't get lost, I'm adding a little more dark shimmer shadow and adding a smidge of black to the outer corners of my lower lash line and smudging the color around on my fingers. Next, I'm topping off my cheekbones, chin, nose, forehead, and cupid's bow basically all over me with a champagne gold highlighter to give my skin some extra shimmer and glow. To pay homage to the elemental gift and my prior book look for the Three Dark Crown series, I'm adding some Mirabella lightning strikes along my temples and cheekbones and under my eyes. Moving on to the rest of my body, I want goddess glowing skin, so I'm drizzling some gold liquid highlighter and some silver pearlescent glitter highlighter all over me and spreading and blending it all over my chest, neck, shoulders, and down my arms and using whatever is left on my brush to just dab onto highlight points on my face. Next, I'm using a black cream body paint to contour out my collarbones, my neck, my chest, and my shoulders just so nothing gets washed out or lost under my film lights and to add some depth and contrast among all the glitter and shimmer. To really tie in the gold, I'm using gold cream body paint to highlight my collarbones around my neck and the highlight points on my shoulders. 
after I'm curling my lashes in preparation for falsies, and to give those lashes a little bit more drama, I'm coating them and my lower lashes with some mascara. To better blend in the lash band, I'm drawing a thin line of eyeliner. I want this super duper thin and natural so the liner doesn't pull away attention from the overall eye look. A queen could never have too much sparkle, so I'm using a little bit of my lash glue to add some green and purple rhinestones under my eyes. Another slight spoiler alert, avert thine ears! One of the biggest inspirations for this look was a certain scene in Five Dark Fates where two of the queens see images of the goddess and the first queen of Fenburn. The imagery of that scene and what it represents in the story really made me want to highlight the jewel tones and gold from the book cover and made me want to appear as if I was the image that the two queens saw. <laughs> End spoiler alert! As if I wasn't shimmery enough, I'm also dotting some rhinestones around my Mirabella lightning bolts and around my face. Moving on to my lips, I want to reference my Queen Catherine Poisoner lip right here by doing a similar gold highlighted ombre lip, starting with a deep taupe liquid lipstick as my base color before lining and blending dark violet and purple liquid lipsticks around the edges of my mouth. After I'm taking a little bit of my concealer to clean up and sharpen the outer edges of my lips. To really tie the lip color in with the rest of the look, I'm also topping off the center of my lips with the same iridescent green eyeshadow and I'm highlighting my cupid's bow with the same gold glitter shimmer shadow. Just because I like to be shiny and golden like the book cover, I'm dabbing a little of the liquid glitter shadow in the inner corner of my eyes and I'm also using it to highlight my brow bones as well. Once that's done, it's time to put on some Jules Malone Legion Cursed Colored Contacts. Ta-da! And to really intensify the color of those Legion Cursed eyes, I'm smudging a little bit of black eyeliner into my waterline so it looks like I'm smoldering all the time like the fierce first Queen of Fenburn that I'm trying to be. Time to take down my hair, which I curled and pinned prior to filming. The Queens of Fenburn are described as having black hair, so I thought it would be fitting to use my natural hair color for this look, as I did in my previous book looks for the series. Next, I'm braiding the top layer of my hair and poofing it up so the headpiece crown has something to cling onto when I pin everything in place. It's finally time for my favorite part, which is the headpiece! Yeah! I had so much fun making this headpiece for Five Dark Fates. If you would like to see how I made this headpiece, I'll be uploading a video on my YouTube channel coming soon, so please definitely go check it out. So the headpiece sticks properly to my head. I'm first pinning my naturalist portion of my crown to my hair and shaking my head around to ensure it's secure before adding more naturalist layers and entwining the vines into my hair. Just like this. Woo! Next is the cover border inspired, goddess inspired back halo, followed by my poisoner crown, which I also wore when I cosplayed as Queen Catherine at an Epic Reads book signing where I actually got to meet Kendara Blake and get my book signed! <laughs> also, if you're watching this, Kendara Blake, I love you and your books, and I'm your biggest fan. But once everything is pinned down and secure, we are done! Woohoo! Here is our finished look for Five Dark Fates, the final book to the Three Dark Crown series by Kendara Blake! Yay! I wanted to give a colossal thank you to Kendara Blake for one of my favorite YA fantasy series yet. If you're interested in reading Three Dark Crowns, definitely check it out and be sure to check out the paperback version of Five Dark Fates, which comes out April 6, 2021. I also wanted to give an even bigger thank you to HarperCollins Publishers for commissioning me for this book look and I'm ever so grateful for all the love and support for my book looks. This was such a fun look to put together and even more fun to read. As always, thank you everyone for joining me and I will see you all next time. Bye!